Let's see if there's anything on Blockade's website. Nothing. Let's go check out the official website for the movie. Nothing. Rainmaker. Still nothing. Should I try Wikipedia? Uh, okay, why not? Uh, okay, let's see. Release date. Wait. Release date March 13, 2016? Wait, what? We went from September 30th to March 13th? Wait, hold on. <laughs> okay, I think someone's messing with us. Eh? What's up guys and welcome back to some news regarding the Sly Cooper movie. Now this is not some exciting news I'm telling you from now, <laughs> but some stuff regarding the movie's status has been mentioned by Kevin Monroe himself. He's the director of the Sly movie and the Ratchet and Clank movie, if some of you were unfamiliar. Before I proceed, what is this whole thing on Wikipedia these days? A short while back, Wikipedia apparently had a September 30th release date, and after seeing March 13th multiple times in the comments section, I thought to myself that's that it's probably from Wikipedia. None of the main websites mention a release date, they all still show now in development. Now anyone can edit Wikipedia, it's not 100% reliable. And the sudden much 13th release date is hard to believe for me, and for some of you guys too, perhaps. Maybe the person who's editing the page is trying to come up with an estimated release date? Anyways, why is this so hard to believe? Simple, because Kevin Monroe has mentioned that the movie hasn't started yet. He's basically waiting for a green light. Oh, and thank you to everyone who's supporting this channel with news and stuff like that. I really appreciate it and you're awesome. First, let's go on to Twitter. This user sent a tweet to Kevin Monroe on January 1st, where the user wanted to know when the movie would get finished. Monroe replied, We have to start it before we finish it. Just waiting on the green light to do so. So there you go, folks. The movie, unfortunately, hasn't started production yet. And if production hasn't started yet, then I assume we still don't have a movie distributor, which handles the marketing for the movie. Now, I actually had no idea that Kevin Monroe had an Instagram. By the way, I thank Monroe for taking the time to reply to some tweets fans sent him about the Instagram account. I had no idea until a user, thanks by the way, sent me a message on YouTube explaining that the director actually has an Instagram account and that he's been getting most updates from there. Okay, why not just check out Instagram? As you can see, Monroe makes a bunch of sketches. Talking about sketches, this one is pretty cool. Deadpool Ratchet is pretty hilarious. Out of everything on his Instagram, this one picture caught my attention. Alright, we see some Ratchet and Clank concept arts, but we can see a Sly Cooper logo at the bottom left corner. Now could that be a teaser for a new logo? Even if it's half, it looks pretty good. And this picture was posted a week ago. If Monroe added a Sly logo teaser, then the movie will surely happen. We're just waiting for the green light, like he said. Since he also directed the Ratchet and Clank movie, then I'm, then I'm going to assume that Ratchet and Clank is really being marketed first. If wondering about any Sly Cooper sketches, there's one from 27 weeks ago. And just by reading the comments, it is clear that the Sly Cooper movie has been on hold for quite a while now. Going back on Twitter, Monroe replied on January 2nd, 2016. So I guess we still have a long road ahead. Okay, now where is this green light? It's like waiting at a red stoplight forever. <laughs> so now we know that the Sly Cooper movie is still on hold, but when will production start? Could production start once the Ratchet and Clank movie hits theaters? Could the movie start production once Ratchet and Clank gets taken down from theaters? Or they'll probably be testing the Ratchet and Clank movie to know whether or not the box office will do well. If the box office is successful enough, then production for Sly could eventually begin. Remember, both Sly and Ratchet are iconic Sony characters. If Ratchet and Clank does bad at the box office, which I hope not, the movie just looks amazing by the trailer already. Then Sly Cooper might get delayed even more, I don't know. But cancellation? I doubt it. Now Ratchet and Clank's US distributor is Focus Features. Once marketing for the Ratchet and Clank movie is complete, then maybe Focus Features might distribute Sly Cooper. But that would lead to more waiting and waiting. Hopefully, if we're lucky enough, the movie gets picked up while the Ratchet and Clank movie is still being marketed. Of course, the distributor might be different. So hopefully this video update makes things a bit clearer for you guys. Let's look at the bright side. Even though the Sly Cooper movie hasn't started production, we know for a fact that the movie's going to happen, at least. Plus, we have Kevin Monroe who's replying and trying to keep us updated, as much as he can right now. So when do you think we'll be seeing this precious green light? Leave your thoughts in the comments, and I'll catch you guys next time. As always, thank you for watching.